In this video, I introduce the glove for word representation. Global vectors is an unsupervised learning method for word representation, which combines global co-occurrences that statistics with the word vector to predict the missing world. Suppose X is a matrix of word word co-occurrence counts. We use a document to generate matrix X, and we use the window size one to scan the document to fill the matrix. If we use a CAD as a probe word, then Z and the CAD appear in the same window. So the co-occurrence count of the word Z is equal one. CAD and the set appear in the same window. The co-occurrence count of the word set is equal one. We use the co-occurrence count x i j and x i that is the sum of all the numbers in one column to define the normalized additional probability. The idea of a glove language model is to use some words as input to predict the missing words. Here we use the matrix W to map the input words to the vectors in feature space. And then we define the matrix U, whose row is a vector corresponding to each word in the vocabulary. And then we calculate the inner product of each vector of an input word and this matrix U to generate a square distribution. And then we use this square distribution and the global statistics to define the loss function. Use the loss function to train the glove language model to make sure this uh, score is uh, to be consistent to the global statistics. Now we use the three steps to explain details of a glove language model. First of all, we need to make sure the distance measurement is uh, uh, consistent in the uh, feature space and uh, global statistics. For example, we have three vectors for world I, uh, J, K. If in the feature space, world I is close to the world K, then J. And uh, in the uh, uh, global statistics, uh, this uh, co-occurrence uh, probability of uh, uh, I and uh, K is uh, larger than the co-occurrence probability of world G and K. That means this ratio larger than one. Ratio larger than one means world I is closer to probable world K than G. That means in the feature space and the global statistics are constant. And then now we measure the distance between two world vectors. Uh, which should be consistent to the co-occurrence probability of this uh, word i and the word k. And then uh, we define this uh, function f as the exponential function to infer a positive f corresponding to a meaningful probability. So we got uh, this uh, constraint. Because this uh, term is uh, no relation with the k, so we can merge this uh, term to the bias of word i. So we got this uh, constraint. Then now uh, we use a weighted uh, least square as uh, regression to define the function, loss function to optimize the word representation subject to the constraint here. From this loss function, we see we have two terms here. One is from a neural network get this uh, so-called distribution in the feature space. One is the co-occurrence probability from the global uh, statistics. And then uh, we combine these two terms as the loss function here to train the model. And uh, the result is a constant in feature space and the global statistics. After we train the model, we can give some uh, words to the model as an input. The model can predict the missing words. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you.